So I'm Jessica Clark. I'm pole fitness instructor and chair of this club here at Teesside University. Uh, I've been teaching here for three years now and been training two years previous to that. I, I've been doing pole fitness now probably about five, six years. I've trained myself two, three years and then come here and teach the club for another three years after that. Well, I originally played hockey and obviously in hockey you're sort of like slouched over and I had a lot of problems with my back so it was actually from injury that I decided I needed to do a sport where I was like stretching and like flexing my back. So a friend suggested pole dancing and I decided to give it a go and it really helped me with my back pain. Um, it, was, it was a sport that my friend was doing before, she was really into it and she told me to come along to a class and I was a bit sceptical but as soon as I got there I loved it and it was great fun. I'd say uh, the sport itself did have that link, it would uh, it'd be almost bad mouthing when people said that you did pole, for instance when I told my parents I did pole they were very against it but then I'd show them what I was actually doing and they had a, they had a different view on it after that. And I think it's the same for anybody who comes to a class. They don't expect what they get out of it. They'll come, they'll have a lesson, and when they leave, they're like, oh, that's nothing like I thought it was going to be. Yes, definitely, because I'd only ever seen pole dancing, like, broadcast on TV through music videos, uh, films, which obviously betrayed, like, strip clubs or whatever. But um, when I had started it, my dad wanted me to stop because of how he was seeing it as well as negative. There's still quite a lot of stigma about it, but as more people are doing it, more good words are being said about it. Um, a lot more people are taking it up, and it's, it's definitely getting better. <laughs> I find from a lot of males, they would assume you're a stripper, and they would just ask, like, what clubs and stuff you dance in, like, just presuming things, but that's obviously not the case. Um, I don't think there should be an age limit at all. Um, it's like any sport, like, it's, it's gymnastics and dance thrown together. Um, it's a lot about body awareness and um, just a sense of self and know, knowing where, what part of your body's going, which parts of your body you're using. Um, it's good for all ages. No, um, I actually don't. The, obviously the whole controversy with ITVs this morning, eight-year-olds, 11-year-olds or whatever doing it. And I suppose you could say that's like the same for males as well. Like anyone can do it, it's a sport and you can do it really at any age. And to be honest, the only thing wrong with younger people doing it means they're going to be better than everybody else because they'll have longer training and the younger you start something, the better you are. And as well, there's lots of studios that cater for the younger demographic. So I don't think it's wrong. And <laughs> you get a lot stronger, a lot more flexible, a lot stronger and a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for your no time. Problem.